Oklahoma County District Attorney Vicki Bahanna says that investigations are completed each of those cases. Fox News David Chasnoff was at that press conference today where she explained her reasoning to the reports. So David, what do you have to say? Wayne Bahanna says she hired an out of state uh, expert to study the evidence in each case. Now she tells me these moves were not rushed whatsoever. These families are grieving. This de decision that has been made is difficult. Um, and no matter what this office does or says, um, these families are forever changed. The Hena says Clarence Chapman, a use of force expert from California who has experience in law enforcement, evaluated each case independently, reviewing things like body camera video and medical examiner reports. I want to put a fine point on this, that this is not just a quick spur the moment decision. This was a very difficult, very fact intensive decision and review. After they finished investigating, the DA's office decided to dismiss charges against seven Oklahoma police officers in three separate fatal shootings that happened in 2020. I'm hoping that the community, even the community on the Northeast side understands that this was a factual and legal analysis. And, and that's what guided our decision here. In the case involving Officer Chase Avery from the village, the expert says Christopher Poor's actions can be interpreted as a deadly threat. He says Officer Avery acted in self-defense and to protect others. Officers who are affecting an arrest on someone who is trying to escape an arrest and who has or has attempted bodily injury a police officer can use deadly force and that that force would be justified. According to Chapman, the five officers who shot at Stavian Rodriguez a dozen times were justified because Stavian, quote, created a sufficiency of fear. And in this case, the officers were yelling at, at Stavian to get on the ground um, and, and he wasn't getting down. And so then he reached for the weapon with his right hand and dropped that and then did the, the action here. And I think our expert believe that those not following orders and not getting on the ground and, and making this movement, uh, the officers were in fear that he might have a, a second gun and, and then use deadly force. Chapman says in another OKC case, 60 year old Benny Edwards posed a significant threat to officers at the scene. He got within four or five feet of, of um, uh, Sergeant Duroy before he made the sharp left turn. But again, reviewing Oklahoma law, when somebody, even a fleeing felon who is, uh, has threatened bodily injury, uh, officers can use excessive force. Bahena says all three cases are dismissed with prejudice, which means the decision is finalized and can't change. My heart goes out to the families, it does. And I think it's, it's important for there to be finality on this piece and not drag them out for another two or three years or maybe five years. Who knows if there's going to be a change in the statute? And Bahena says moving forward, anytime there's a deadly officer involved shooting, a grand jury will investigate it. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.